But our parliament has improved in the first half of this year. This is according to the information service, the Parliamentary Monitoring Group. Members of the executive are accountable to parliament. The constitution states that they are collectively and individually accountable to the institution. But there has been frustration among some lawmakers because of recent conduct of ministers and deputy ministers who are failing to pitch up for meetings when asked to do so by parliamentary committees. Just this week, Energy Minister Jeff Hadebe submitted an apology not to attend a committee meeting due to international commitments. The meeting was to discuss increases in petrol prices. The minister reports to parliament is constitutional obliged. He's not doing us a favor. He will come here. He will be here next week to give us the report. If he doesn't come, will someone see him? I will write to the speaker to say that we had accepted that the minister is not going to come, but the departmental officials, everybody didn't pitch today. Parliament has made it clear that it does not condone absenteeism and directed leader of government business and deputy president David Mabuza to intervene. Executive members um, serving in cabinet are individually and collectively accountable to the National Assembly. That's not a choice, it's a must. It's per the constitution. The cases that you are referring to, I've brought it to the attention of the speaker, and we are in the process of taking it up with the legal, a leader of government business and also with the president to ensure that we do have accountability from members of the executive. The deputy president has directed three ministers to monitor attendance of the executive and keep a register. The parliamentary monitoring group says attendance increased by 10% in the first six months of this year. With the new administration, if one can call it that, there has been an improvement. It's just that, well, with, not with everyone, there are those delinquents here and there, but there has been an improvement overall. The PMG now wants the attendance register of the executive to be made public for transparency purposes. Pulelani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.